Joining us now to discuss BTC and the crypto markets is StockCharts.com, Senior Technical Analyst Julius DeCampanier. Welcome, Julius, to the show. So we're seeing, we did see a bit of a bump in Bitcoin the other day. Where do you see it short term headed into the end of the year? Ooh, for, the, for the short term, I think there's actually a little bit of upside. We're now, I mean, the major move that we've seen over the last couple of weeks, months, was the break below 18,000, 18,500. That was a serious break um, of that long trend range that we saw. And we've now hovered around 15 and a half, 15 and a half, and you see it now bouncing off that newly formed support level. Right now, we're kind of pushing against 17,000, but the major, uh, the major overhead resistance and the one that is going to probably keep it under wraps is that 18,000 level. So in the near term, uh, we may see a little bit more upside, but in my view, it's very, very limited towards that 18,000 level. And if you're approaching Bitcoin from the long side, I'd be very, very uh, careful because the upside potential is about, let's say, $1,000. Well, the downside risk is, I think, uh, a multitude of that. It's, that's pretty big, actually. Oh, yikes. Uh, how, how low are you seeing the bottom? And we do have a chart uh, from <laughs> stockcharts.com yeah. showing the past yeah, so, six months. What kind of trends yeah, are you seeing there? Yeah, so you, that, this is what we just discussed. Like that, that, that level where we're now pushing against, that's that 17,000. And then the dotted line a little bit higher is that 18,000. You can see that that was touched a number of times over the last six months. <clears throat> so the more a level has been touched, the more important it has become. And the rule in technical analysis, if you wish, is that um, a support level, once broken, comes back as resistance. And that is what we're very likely going to see when we can push beyond 17,000. That 18,000 will be a serious resistance level. On the downside, by the way, this is an excellent, now that I'm looking at it on the screen, is an excellent example of don't don't confuse the bottom of the chart with support because that 15 and a half, that, that little red line that's connecting the last two lows, that is definitely not the lowest part of the Bitcoin chart. If we go below that, I think that the next serious support level is only found around 12 and a half, 13,000. So if you bring that into uh, comparison with the upside potential of a thousand bucks, your downside is pretty big. Oh, wow. We also have uh, a look at the past four years of Bitcoin. What, what kind of trends are you seeing there that might impact uh, the future? Yeah, this, this, is the, this is the longer term trend. And if you, if you look at the, uh, the trend that has been developing since, uh, let's say, the end of 2021, then you see a very regular series of lower highs and lower lows. That is the, that is the characteristic of a downtrend. And this is a weekly chart. So this is a long term trend. That's not that's not going to be reversed like in two days. So as long as this rhythm of lower highs and lower lows continues, we've got to assume that this market is in a downtrend. And we just broke below um, that 18,000 level, which we already saw on that daily chart. That was the previous low. So the next lower low, which may have been 15,500, but it could come lower, is, is again a lower low in that series. So the new lower high is going to be a new lower high in that series and basically confirming that downtrend. And as you can see, that 12 and a half, 13,000, that goes all the way back to the highs of 2019 and 2020. That's where you see the first serious level where the market has peaked and tested um, a couple of years ago. And, and that is very likely going to come back as a new support level. But again, that, that's a couple of thousand dollars lower than where we are today. All right, Julius the Bear out with the claws. Thanks so much for joining us. That was <laughs> stockcharge.com senior technical analyst Julius DeCampanire.